something, went into a paddock, and up forward to it. Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy. And uh, I don't think you can get it much rural than I am here. As you can see, I'm in the, as I usually say, the middle of friggin' nowhere in Suffolk. Beautiful today, as you can see. A little bit of a wind, but chucked me around a little bit up on the A14, but not too bad. Before I go any further, I'm just going to tell you a little story, as I usually do. And it's about this stuff right in front of me. Well, about, oh, so many years ago, when me and... Me and Mrs. P got together. She used to live in the country at a place called Stanton. And uh, in the middle of nowhere like this, and her house was there, and she had a big field of this stuff. Anyway, I went round there one day, and we took the dog for a walk, and I looked at this field as it is, just as it is now, and I went, that's sprouting broccoli, uh, and you can eat it. So she said, can you? I said, yeah, because you can. I said, if you go over here and you pull these leaves off here, Strip them off, put them in a pan, boil them up, spray them broccoli. She's okay, we'd do it. So we <laughs> came over to the field, helped ourselves, went back, cooked it all up, ate it. It was absolutely fantastic. It really was. <coughs> anyway, a few weeks later, the field started to go yellow, like a mustard field. And I looked at it and I thought... That ain't sprouting broccoli. That's rapeseed oil. And we vet it. And I'll tell you what, it was friggin' delicious. We weren't ill. And I'll tell you what, if you're hungry, boys and girls, get yourself some rapeseed oil, look. They're just like sprouting broccoli. You even got the tops to them, look. Look at that, look. So what hurt you? So <laughs> that's a silly little story of me thinking I know a little bit about gardening. Just means one thing. Fucking crap. So anyway, I'm going to talk about a little something else today before we go much further. I'm going to talk about the old fart on the bikes, Jim Payne's challenge, which he's uh, thrown out another challenge. And he's also in league with another vlogger from the other side of the world, Paul Ryder, 1960. Which I think uh, will let you know. I think that's the probably the year he was born. I would imagine he's one of my subscribers, and I subscribe to him. So anyway, a challenge has been put out, and it's a little bit different. And uh, I'll explain it. It's a little bit complicated, I think, but uh, it will work. What they've done is they set the challenge: is if anybody now or when they started started on really crappy equipment you know like a a steam powered camera or a two pound fifty chinese uh camera for car boot sale or they put their phone old phone on the helmet and tied it down with a bit of shoe string or something you know anything like that you can enter it but the point is people like myself who started with decent cameras can't but there is a little uh, sting in the tail for us, and I'll explain that as we go along. What you got to do, you got to prove that when you started, or when you, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young, how old, whatever, when you started vlogging, you used crappy equipment, or you are still using crappy equipment because circumstances won't let you buy decent stuff. You know, you can't afford it. Whoa, it's bloody stones. Um, you can't afford it, or, you know, circumstances won't let you. Well, you can enter the competition. So what you've got to do, you've got to get in touch with Jim Payne. Oh, get on a bike and uh, forward your videos that you've done when you got started or if you're starting now, forward to him and uh, let him see him. And I think they're going to be judged. And the winner will get a second hand and it's all working. It's got mounts to it and everything else. Drift HD. That is worth a friggin' load of money. And that is coming from Paul Ryder in Australia. So it's going to be one hell of a prize. Trust me. 
If you can prove when you started or you're starting now, you can't afford a camera, you're one of, and you're out there trying, you can get yourself a decent camera if you win the prize. Now you're saying, what's in it for me? You know, what's in it for me? He looked a bit fucking weird. <laughs> what's in it for me? Well, if one of my subscribers win this, okay, I get some sexy underwear. And you're saying, what? Fucking handy in sexy underwear. That'd be horrendous. Trust me. You will not see me in my fucking sexy underwear. No, seriously. Um, there's some uh, new biking underwear. What's called? I think it's called Becker Coolwear. And, uh, and the subscriber, whose subscriber wins the competition, will get the Becca Coolware and if you want to have a look at it go on to uh, Alan Boulder's site because he's got some and uh, he did model it the other day but I will tell you now before you do that lock your children and your animals away and be prepared <coughs> and be prepared to be a bit traumatised for the rest of your life no Alan he was a bit high on drugs and uh, sex and rock and roll at the time I think He's modelled it, so you'll be able to see it. Well done, Alan. So, yeah, so if you put your vids forward and uh, you win, you'll get a drift. Now, when you do that, if you can actually say, when you put them forward, that you heard it from me, Suffolk Andy, I'll get the sexy underwear. So we all win all round. But if you've got subscribers who don't subscribe to me, and you do a vid and put that on there, and you win... I should imagine you'll get the sexy underwear I think it works like that anyway so I hope I've explained that okay you know there's a lot to it but basically if you haven't got a decent camera or you didn't have a decent camera and you started off crap put them up send them to the links and that to Jim Payne uh, he'll judge it or I think he and Paul will judge it or they might even put it out on the wider community which will help everybody and yourselves if you haven't got many subscribers and that will all be done and dusted but if you do please 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 mention that you heard it from me Suffolk Andy and I appreciate that because I really want those sexy underwear because I know Mrs P will go crazy if I get into them you know what these women are like especially when you've got long johns on they just go nuts don't they <laughs> but anyway I'll leave it at that. I hope I've explained it. I hope you've explained it, Jim. I hope it's all there. Uh, I'm doing my best for you, mate, to get the challenge going. It's one hell of a challenge. I'll tell you what, I'm pig sick. You know, I could do with a third camera. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, mate. But, uh, yeah, it's for all you Budham guys, especially if you're just starting out and you ain't got the good equipment, put some of your stuff forward to Jim and you might get yourself a bloody Drift HD for friggle. Okay? So anyway, I'm going to go this way. I'll probably make another vlog now that I've done this. And, uh, and uh, I shall see you later, boys and girls. Look at this place. It's just fantastic. Anyway, that's all from me. Ride safe. Suffolk Andy.